Ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Jackson takes a pitch. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Looking to run. He gets sacked on the play. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Oregon's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the pass. But it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 33-yard line. Tackle around the 32-yard line. Great discipline and play calling on the defense's part on that series. Everything clicked for him. James to punt. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Six yards there on the counter. It's second down and four to go. Ball on their own 34. Tackle made at the 36. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. it to the 38 yard line and they keep it on the ground for the first down nothing too fancy here the key is that the running back was able to convert the first down from their own 38 yard line 
First down. Nice play fake. He wants it all. This one will fall incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. He's taken down at the 46. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And he's taken down at the 44. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. <laughs> Heading for the corner. He fields a punt at the 20. He's tackled at the 29. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Seven yard line. Second down at twelve. Ball on the twenty seven yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's tackled at about the thirty three yard line. there before he stepped out of bounds. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From midfield, it's first down. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. They'll bring him down around the 39 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He might not be able to get the pass off. He is drilled at the 47. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. 
Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. And down he goes at the 28. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's under some heat. And he's immediately tackled. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Ready, on play action. He gets rid of this one. From their own 41-yard line. Second down. Little handoff. He fights forward to about the 43. Trying to change the field position with his kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. hit immediately in the backfield. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 20. Spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he tackles him hard at the eight. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Hitman, the return man. Hitman fields it at the 46. Brought down at the 38. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just, just to dominate the game. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Jackson gets six yards on the carry. Up the middle for a nice game. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He 
fights forward to about the seven. Nine. Boy, it's nice to see the speed on the defensive side of the ball here. That time they were able to catch the running back behind the line. That's impressive. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Quickly to the tight end. Incomplete. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. Utah could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Becker looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Utah's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. They work the right side, and there's nothing going there. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 3 nothing, Utah. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Nice run there as they work the outside. They're about four yards away here on third down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. He fights forward to about the 30. It's second and seven. Ball on the 30. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. Go, 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 go. Takes the ball inside. Gets to about the 27-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. throw a huge play and now they're in a great position to score a nice looking play that time well the defense was blitzing here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver this is the eighth play of this drive Laterals. Touchdown, Ducks. That's how you're supposed to run the option. The defense just got lost there. They didn't account for everybody in the backfield, and the rest is history. And he converts the extra point. 
A nice eight play, 76 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Lewis has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Nearly intercepted. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Second and ten. Ball on their own 26. Ready. He's into the open field. And he's tackled around the 38 yard line. Tackle at about the 39-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 39. Tackle after a decent pickup. Intercepted. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon holds a four-point lead. Tackle made at the 24. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. It's second and 12. Ball on the 24-yard line. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. James is waiting for the snap. And he's taken down at the 43. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. From their own 43-yard line, second down. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. And they're coming after this punter. 
Field it at the 19. He's got the corner. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. One of the nation's top talents really struggling in this one today. Franz's big playability was supposed to be on display, and yet he's trying to find any kind of rhythm. And we've seen the team rally around him, though, and they got the lead, Kirk. Huh? Yeah, and Brad, this defense has done just a great job of being able to take him out of this game today. They've been able to oh, just limit his touches. And yet, for some reason, they still find themselves trailing this game. So I think it's a good example of how one player can alter a defensive game plan and really puts this defense in a position where they're going to have to make some adjustments here and try to put more pressure on this team and get the ball back to their own offense. From their own 49-yard line, first down, Oregon is up by four. And a quick throw, right down at the 49-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Pitches back. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line. Third down. Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down at about the 41. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. His left gets it out to the halfback and down he goes at the 26 yard line so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first Matthews gets a carry right side and he's taken down around the 27 yard line From their own 30-yard line. First down. Off play action. Now he's on the move. He's to the 40. And they make the stop. The 42-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 39-yard line. Nice run there. Jackson gains around six yards on the run. Somebody jumped early down there. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. From the 38-yard line, second down. Ready, green, 88, check, check. Hammerhead, hammerhead. Toss play. He's at the 30, makes it out to about the 19.
this is the eighth play of the drive. He fights forward to about the 16. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. And he took a shot on that play, Brad. It looks like his head might be still ringing a little bit. Glover gets seven yards on the play. So we're looking at another third down here. Looks left, finding his tailback. Nice play to set up first and goal. Impressive gain there by the do it all back. This is the 11th play of this drive. Might have been some early movement up front. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Tackles him hard at the three. Just about three yards there. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. This is the 12th play of this drive. Offensive line would just pancake the defense on that one. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Utah to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24-yard line. Oregon's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit and they're going to have to do it with somebody else I think this is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days you prep and you look at a lot of film and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around and you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense and then you go out there and it's not working you have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle around the 45-yard line. The Ducks will use their first time out of the half. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. made at about the 37-yard line. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. Oregon's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Five wide. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's taken down right around the 24-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's scrambling. It's on the ground. He picks it up. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Utah is up a field goal. Five, 
Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Locked down around the 46 yard line. Sack for a loss. Finds his man. First down. He's at the 30. Touchdown, Utes. You talk about taking the momentum into the locker room. What a passing catch. Converts the extra point. We've still got a half of football remaining. Utah's got a 10 point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This is not going to make the offensive line highlight tape. Both defensive lines spending a lot of time in the backfield. You know, David, we talk about quarterbacks getting hot. Can pass rushers get hot too? Oh, absolutely, especially once you start zoning in on the cadence. Once you start understanding what they're doing, when they want to snap the football, you start to get a feel for it. You start getting off the football and you start beating that guy on the other side. Once you start beating him, you get a feel for how he wants to set on you, and if it matches up with your game, you start bull rushing him a little bit, then you start blowing by him. I think it's uh, it's definitely one of those things where you can get in the zone. And and I don't think both sides could get in the zone, but right now both sides are in the zone getting after the quarterback. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Bryant from the two. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Utah's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 27-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here comes the pressure. Quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds around the 42-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Makes it out to about the 49. Again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Out of bounds at the 50. He gets 
yards out to about the 28-yard line. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Setting up the play action. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 49-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 46. it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. the eighth play of the series. Here's a little draw play. Nice run, and he's brought down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Rose complete, but it's not going to be enough. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he has it on the corner. Gets out to around the 48. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. He might have a chance. Nice run to the outside. They come out in a five-wide set. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at about the 15-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play.
from the 15 yard line. First down. Slings it. The five. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. They try to get a head start there. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. First and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. Fires quickly. Touchdown. They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice seven play, 75 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score. 17-14. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Utah holds a field goal lead. He goes out of bounds at the 28. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Pitch out. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. Johnson is the deep man awaiting the return. Johnson fields it at the 38, and he's taken down at the 46-yard line. They punched it in for six in the last series. Can they do it again? Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. From the 30 yard line, second down. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. You know, he's been working really hard lately on his fundamentals. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching him work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. Oregon can tie it up here with this kick. 
He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Lewis has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You've got to make every possession count. Tackle at the 24-yard line. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 24. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. three yard line second down tackle made around the 48 yard line Taken down at about the 47-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 47. He tackles him for a loss. here between the quarterback and the receiver looked a little off there. Sometimes that happens, especially on a deep throw. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Fires to his receiver, first down. Brought down at the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Nice run up the middle. So with one quarter remaining, this game is all tied up in 17. We played three quarters even. Fourth quarter is going to tell the difference. Man can't tack on any yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line.
And now he pitches it. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's tackled at the 18-yard line. First and ten following that big run. Roger, Roger. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Guys, stay in situation. Let's go. Here we go. He's got it with room to run. And he is drilled at the nine. First and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Scrambling around. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. He got the defense on their heels, and he just waltzed in for the touchdown. Brad, great job of improvising by the quarterback there, showing pass, breaking down the defense, and then going in for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So an eight-play, 81-yard drive, and the result, seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 27. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And two. Seven, red, seven. Motion, motion, motion. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. From their own 44-yard line. It's first down. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. to the tailback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Glover, the ball carrier. Nice run there as they work the outside. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Away. Defense does a really good job here of timing it up and knocking the ball away. I think they were anticipating pass on third down. Now we'll see what happens here on this big fourth down. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 14. This play is number eight on the drive. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. you got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. First and 15 now after the penalty. Check 
pulls it in and he's in the open field and he tackles him hard at the 11 yard line very solid gain through the air I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. This is the ninth play of this drive. Set, green 88, green 88. Throws it in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the five. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Tackle at the 20-yard line. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. At the very least, they've got to get in the field goal range. Once they've done that, they can think about taking a few shots into the end zone. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. And a quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds at the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line. First down. He's taken down at about the 43 yard line. Man left, man left. Pull down, pull down. Everybody cool, everybody cool, everybody cool. Over the middle, got his tight end. He's tackled right around the 30. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none. They don't want none of this. From the 30-yard line, first down. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. It was time for somebody to step up and make the play and pull did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. up about four yards on the delayed handoff. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. Nice run there. Glover 
Gets six yards on the play. Someone got a head start on the line. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. Here's the eighth play of the series. Roger, Roger. Mike Nye, Mike Nye. Here we go. Over the middle. Touchdown, Mutes. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. on the extra point. A seven-play, 66-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Makes it out to about the 39. Tackled after a decent pickup. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Too easy, too easy. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Right point, right point, right point. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. This may be fourth down territory if they can't get a first down here. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's immediately tackled. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. He's scrambling. He's still going. Slides down to the ground. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Close to nine yard pickup there on the slant.
Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. The defense has got to be thinking if they've already forced a red zone turnover, maybe they can do it again right here. And he just gets rid of it. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Loss of three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds at the 12. And this is the 13th play of this drive. goes down quickly. That's four yards on the play. I like the play call here. Getting to the receiver on the screen, he had blockers in front, and he turned the play into a nice little game. On the throw, incomplete pass. This is the 15th play of this drive. Taken down at the two-yard line. And he throws it away. This is the 17th play of this drive. They're crowding the line. Might have been some early movement up front. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the seven. Tackle made at about the three-yard line. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch. That's fun to see. Finds the man. Touchdown. in the fourth quarter now and with that score this game's a one possession ball game and it's really going to get tense from here on out here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up and he adds the extra point not much time left on the clock and we've got a great one going it's all tied up at 31 Lewis has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep he kicks it off and he got all of that one this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback Late in the fourth quarter, tie football game, an important game for both these teams, and this is where you find out who your leaders are. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orange three, orange three. Go. Go. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Right down at the 34-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Going deep, lays it out there. Great concentration to pull it in. The 10, and a huge touchdown play. You gotta think the way that offense dug deep to get the lead here this late in the fourth quarter, that might translate over and give enough emotion to their defense to win the football game. He makes the PAT. This one's in the books. The Utes take this one. 38-31. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.